name is Jennifer Cooney. I work here at Lancel Catholic. I've been working here since 2002, but as a full-time teacher since 2012, I think, 2011, something like that. I grew up locally um, in Huntington Valley. I went to St. Joe's. When I graduated from St. Joe's, I was a Jesuit volunteer uh, and then worked in the Bronx as an elementary teacher for six years. Wound up kind of really realizing that I liked high school. Uh, a lot better than I liked elementary. When I was growing up, always in the back of my head, I kind of realized I had this voice that always was like, well, when I teach, I'm gonna do it this way. And I never even realized that that voice existed there. Okay, write it down. Come on, it's all right, guys. <laughs> and I kind of said, what could I do? And, and then I kept on hearing that voice again saying, well, when I teach, I'm gonna do it this way, or I won't do it that way. And I was like, well, maybe that's, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I have always been Catholic, I grew up Catholic, and for me it was really important, or it just seemed to fit very well, to be able to express my, uh, my concern for the kids and my caring for the kids within the framework of my Catholic faith. That's always the way I framed um, my relationship with the kids. one of the most dedicated teachers that we have in our building. She is one of our dedicated teachers. Dedication. This is something that is not just a job to her, it is, it is a vocation. You're always going to get the truth with her. If she has anything to say to you, she'll just be honest with you and, and say it in a, in a nice way and in a loving way. Sometimes um, not a nice way, but it's well, always it, out of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, they see how she cares not only about her own kids, but about her students. Other than my family, they're the most important things to me. They give me purpose. When I think of Mrs. Cooney, I think of someone that is involved throughout the school. She's also at many sporting events. I absolutely love this place. Oh, the adjustment in March when I had to shut down. Um, well, for me, uh, it was it was honestly really kind of emotional um, for those uh, seniors. Um, it was uh, once it became apparent not that it was just going to be for two weeks, but that we weren't going to be back in school again. It, it honestly took an emotional toll on me, and I know it took an emotional toll on them. <laughs> Uh, you know, we constantly had to adjust. Without a doubt, the most difficult piece for me was uh, not seeing the kids and not seeing the, that senior place in particular from last year was, was really, that was really hard. She really gets to know her students on a very personal level. She talks to them like a son or daughter. So she's like a second mom around LC. I think of Miss Cooney as a second mom. Her dedication to her students, especially like on the Kairos retreat, puts everything out on the line for her students all the time, but especially on the retreat. Uh, she's very open and honest, not only about her life, but also how God contributed to the things in her life and how her love of God uh, has helped her through pretty much everything. I can't get away from her. I graduated two years ago, and then ever since then, she's been my boss. She really is everywhere you go, and you know she's there because everyone gravitates toward her. Alone in the home that could have been everything for me.
her heart's three times the size of her. She cares more about everybody and, and the students than anybody else. I will fight with you, Flanagan. <laughs> She's somebody who's super authentic, um, really does care to know what is going on in a student's life. What do I want my kids to know? So I want them to know that they are loved. I want them to know that they are loved by an amazing God. What a gift and a blessing they are to their families, uh, to us here at the LC community. And I want them to know the purpose that they can have in serving. Because as I said, I have joy that is uh, really unending. And uh, if they find that purpose, then they can have that too. So.